What's up guys, Jason here at the Players Club in Burbank, California. I'm gonna to talk to you about attitude bends. So what's an attitude bend? Well, it's a, it's a bend that's not really trying to go to another pitch, you're just trying to give the note a little bit of flavor or sauce, as I like to call it. So give it some attitude. We use the minor third of the pentatonic scale usually to do that. So I'm gonna zoom in, show you how the, the technique really works, the mechanics of it, and then I'll give you a couple licks on, on how to really apply this. So attitude bend, here we go. Okay, so the attitude bend. Again, it's meant to uh, get some expression in a note, kind of like you would vibrato, without going to another pitch. So you're just trying to push and pull the tension and, and give the note some sizzle or some sauce. So if we're playing an A minor, Two really good spots to do these bends are the fifth fret of the G and the fifth fret of the D. So the fifth fret of the G is what's called the minor third. And if you grip the guitar neck, saddle your thumb and your index finger together like this, you can do one of those gradual bends, but you can do it at speed. Okay, and just give the note a little bit of attitude. There's not really a destination um, of where you're going. It's wherever you want. Uh, you can, you know, however you want to hold the note out or however much tension you want to create. So maybe a lick would be. Now what I like to do is stop the note immediately with uh, my picking hand. So I, uh, I'll, I'll put the uh, pick on the string and stop it like that. Okay, so again, I can have. So just a little bit of a bend to create some attitude. And here's what it sounds like when you're hitting the fifth fret of the D. This is what's known as the seventh of the scale. And I resolve back down to the fifth. So I can put that together and have. So it's a good way to just add a little bit of character to your notes rather than hitting it flat or doing vibrato. Now you could also do it with the third right here. So I'm on the eighth fret of the E string. Just a, a little gradual bend with a little bit of attitude with it. So you can have. Maybe on the fifth, just a little bit. So that's a good way to use it. Target your minor third, target your seven, and maybe target your minor third up here. You just give a little gradual bend, push up, not really a pitch destination. You're just not trying to go to another note. You're just trying to create some tension and some attitude bend, which is why we call it an attitude bend. Good luck.